I didn't have all that much time to work on the project today, but I thought I'd start building the rack that would hold the battery and the motor controller. So I clamped down some one inch angle iron and cut it to length using my angle grinder just with a, uh, a metal cutoff disc in there uh, to the length that would span the front of the tractor. So my thought right now is just to use some angle iron to uh, span the top of the frame of the, the vehicle here. Uh, just do a couple of holes, a couple of bolts to hold it in place. And then this piece of metal here is uh, part from an original Nissan Leaf battery pack uh, that typically had six millimeter bolts going through the cells. These are not long enough because I'm going to be using six cells instead of four. But just for example, imagine these cells hanging down from here and they're suspended from this piece of metal, could bolt that, could weld that, um, but they hang down, makes a nice little platform to work from. And then the other thing is that it also gives me a nice place to mount the motor controller, could basically go up on top. I'd have to uh, make some appropriate holes, some spacers, but this is a pretty good size to be able to still open and close the hood um, and have everything fit nice and neatly in there. Uh, the other thing that this does is it still leaves some room open in front for getting at the headlights, getting down to in the bottom there's uh, some places I can run the cables through. So I think this should work pretty well. Now the other thing here that's a little crazy is that this is from a Nissan Leaf. Uh, everything on here is metric so these are six millimeter bolts. Uh, unfortunately still in the United States at my local hardware store um, metric parts, there's plenty of metric parts there, but they're more expensive. But then something a little unusual, like getting some threaded rod in metric, they don't carry that, they have standard. So for example, here is just a quarter 20 bolt. It's, you know, your, your American standard. And what I did is I actually tapped out that hole with a, a quarter 20 reamer here. So I can put some quarter 20 threaded rod through here. Um, this did work pretty well. It's, it's pretty much the right size. Um, the quarter 20 through the six millimeter reamed right through and it threads up real nice and I've got this tool so frankly it's easier just for me to ream these four uh, holes out than to uh, locate some uh, six millimeter metric threaded rod. So it's a little bit of work threading that in there using a little cutting fluid rocking it back and forth but uh, cuts out to tw quarter 20 pretty well. These, uh, these tabs stick up higher uh, than on the back, so I'm gonna flatten them out. Now they're both the same. With the end pounded down flat, it means that next time I'll be able to break out my welder and weld that down onto those angle iron cross pieces. As always, please subscribe, check out my other videos, and tune in next time for more on this project.